Oh, perfect. All right. Uh, why didn't the SB40 group want to get involved in this? Uh, we have, you know, Dreamcatchers is such a wonderful organization. They serve a ton of clients um, of ours. We are a board that um, uses county tax dollars to allocate for services for individuals with disabilities, so voc vocational, residential, and recreational services. And so Dreamcatchers has been a um, organization that we've supported for a long time, and so we we're just really thrilled to have the opportunity to be able to help them expand the services that they can provide and expand the, the quantity and the quality of the services that they can provide for people with disabilities in Clinton County. Absolutely, and $100,000, that is no small chunk of change. Uh, I mean, what is it? You mentioned a few things, but uh, I mean, throwing that kind of money behind one group, I mean, what is it about them that just made you say, we want to invest whole hog in this? Um, you know, I mean, they just have such, they have wonderful leadership. Uh, they have a, a wonderful mission and they just do wonderful work and there was such support in the community I mean the, the land that they purchased was actually offered um, you know as, as a discount by the owner because they had such a belief in it so it really became a situation that was just a win-win-win for all of us um, we were able to give a gift that you know maximize our impact because of the generosity of the landowner in the community and the vision of the leadership at Dreamcatchers. I know who I'm talking to but uh, you know this is your land it's going to a big cause uh, I mean, what's it like uh, finalizing all this tonight? Well, it's a little bit bittersweet. This is the last of my mom's farm, which was 160 acres. And it was the last 40 acres that I'm selling. And uh, I won Dreamcatcher to have it. I sold it to him for about 50 cents on the dollar. But it's going to a good cause. That's exactly why I did it. My wife and I talked about it, and we wanted to do this. So we want to see this program continue. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, this program... Uh, the SB40, they don't just donate this kind of money to anybody. I no, mean, you mentioned earlier that uh, it seems to have some divine uh, intervention that happened here. Uh, kind of tell me a little bit about that feeling because it's, it just, you know, the project like this when you first announced it, it seemed like it was going to be a two, three year project, but right. now to be able to one fell swoop, I mean, tell me about that. We had saved about $26,000 and we needed 120. And, uh, SB40, when kids ride, uh, we, we, they pay for uh, handicapped kids to ride in our program. So we've been uh, uh, we've been involved with them for about 14 years. And uh, so the, Pam was talking to them. They said, you know, we might just give you some money to help pay for your land. So Pam presented it to them, and they called us and said, we'll give you $100,000. So I tell you, boy, that was heart stopper. <laughs> wow. And, uh, I mean... You, it doesn't just stop here. Of course, they said, uh, you know, they'll help you out with other things right. that you're going to need for that expansion. Yes. Uh, you know, consider, I mean, you volunteered, you know, this uh, at Dreamcatcher. So what's that like for you to see somebody finally recognize everything that you guys do and kind of the hearts that you guys touch every well, it's year? It's amazing. Uh, a lot of people around Cameron have stepped up. We had one farmer give us $6,000 toward the purchase of the land. And we've had several people donate 500000 different and so Cameron has been very good. The community has supported us 100%, and uh, we're just happy to be part of it. All right. Well, one more question, which is, uh, you know, what's it like for you seeing the land that you grew up on, you know, your family's land, go to this expansion? I mean, it, it seems like seems kind of like you're leaving a legacy there, you know? Well, uh, yes. My dad bought that land back in 1955 for $85 an acre. And land's going now up to $10,000 an acre for small acreages. So uh, I'm glad to see it go to something that's going to continue on for years. It's not going to stop now. I mean, uh, it'd, it'd be nice seeing them plowed it up and put uh, corn and beans in it. But it's great that we can see something like this continue on.